Master NGS Data Analysis in Genovesa. Quick and easy tutorial. Genovesa supports data from Illumina, MGI, HackBio, Oxford Nanopore Technologies, and more. Genovesa prioritizes data security with HTTPS encryption, ensuring secure hosting for patient protection. Fully GDPR compliant, no sensitive patient data is collected. Use Genovesa as a database for storing variants and find clinically relevant information quickly and accurately. Share data seamlessly among individual clinics. Software requirements are minimum internet connection speed 10 megabits per second and full HD screen. Discover software Genovesa. Registration. To register for Genovesa software, visit ngs-genovesa.biovendor.group, choose your desired product line, and click the Register button. Fill in the provided form with your information. After submitting the registration form, a member of our sales team will contact you via email. First sign in. After obtaining your credentials, visit Genovesa website and sign in. Link your account to your organization, subject, and your name and joined subject will appear in the top right corner of the page. This enables you to access projects associated with your organization. Changing subject. In the roll bar under user icon, you can change your password, current subject, or sign out. How to change the subject. To switch between subjects, click on Join to Existing Profile, and in the table containing your subjects, select the one you want. Navigating the application. On the Genovesa homepage's top panel, you will find a Pro or Fast Gen tab depending on the registered product. In the Pro tab, you'll discover projects related to Vienna Lab NGS assay kits, while in the Fast Gen tab, you'll find projects related to BioVendor Fast Gen kits. Clicking on Pro or Fast Gen tab redirects you to all projects created in your current subject, all associated samples, and subsequently also all variants associated with the selected sample. Creating a project. Create a new project by using the Add Project button, fill in the project name, workflow, choose the correct sequencer, and complete the description field. Select the sequencer that was used for your project. Genovesa will expect the number of FASTQ files based on the selected sequencer. Editing project name or description. Uploading FASTQ files. Edit the established project using the blue icon, where you can only modify the name and description fields. You can upload FastQ documents to your project in the FastQ Files tab from your computer storage. After clicking Start Upload, please wait for the process to complete. Do not close the window during the upload. Please note that only raw FastQ files should be uploaded for analysis. Do not alter the FastQ files in any way, including renaming the files or trimming the reads. Genovesa will automatically begin the analysis once any FASTQ file for a sample is uploaded. Your project status will change from new to analyzing. When the analysis is complete for all uploaded samples, the project status will change to past. Viewing Data QC. Once your analysis is complete, you can access several quality control metrics. For the entire project, you can view global mapping quality in FASTQC. After clicking on Global Mapping Quality button, the Excel sheet with QC metrics will be downloaded automatically. To view the Fast QC, click on the FastQ Project QC button that open the report in New Browser window. You can display Global Mapping Quality and Fast QC not only aggregated for the entire project, but also for each sample individually. In the table with samples, you can see additional QC statistics, such as total reads, total variance, etc., for a given workflow. In the sample ID column, you see the quality status. If an orange exclamation mark appears next to a sample, it may not necessarily mean the sample is inadequate. It just doesn't meet all the metrics Genovesa tracks 100%. Viewing variants. 
after a sample reaches the pass status, you can view its results in the variance table. By clicking on a row with samples, you can display the variance below, view, filter, sort them, and export for analysis. The Vienna Lab Filter tab displays only variants that have passed a predetermined set of filtering rules established by kit manufacturer. These rules are specific to each assay kit. The All Variants tab presents all called variants found in the sample's VCF file without any additional filtering applied. The Custom Filter tab enables users to apply their own filtering parameters to all variants found in the sample. Default filtering parameters are determined by the current workflow. To filter by different parameters, you can use checkboxes in the first column, select parameter strings in the second or third column, toggle buttons in the row below, or type in specific genes of interest in the field under the row of buttons. Click Show Variants to filter and view the variant list in the table below. To reset the filter, click Default Filter or completely remove the filter by clicking Clean Filter. The Variance table displays identified variants with core annotations in rows and columns. Columns Internal Classification A and Internal Classification B support custom variant classification applied to variants across all projects in the current subject. To change the classification, click on the number and choose a value from the menu. The Internal Classification B column enables a second independent assessment of variance or labeling with sequencing artifact for technological deviations. ACMG prediction is established by a defined set of rules. To view the rules applied to a specific variant, click on the corresponding number. Column Freak Pro displays the frequency of the variant in the current project, which helps to detect potential sequencing artifacts. Column Freak Som Germ displays frequency of the variant in the same workflow type in your subject. And in other columns, you will find more standard annotation variants and multiple databases. Viewing a variant in IGV. To view a specific variant in the IGV interactive browser, select the IGV checkbox by the filtering field in the variants table and click the blue IGV button under the variant position. The IGV viewer will center on the variants position. Pre-selecting and signing out variants. To include variants in a report, you must sign them out, signifying your review and validation for the sample. Pre-selected variants can be temporarily chosen if you plan to revisit them, but only signed out variants will be included in the report. To pre-select or sign out a variant, select it and click the orange file icon, then choose Move to Pre-selected Variants or Sign Out. Pre-selected and signed out variants are visible in their respective tabs. Exporting variants to XLSX To export variants as XLSX for selected samples, click the blue table icon and choose from the drop-down menu. If you select all samples in the table along with their variants, you can export everything in a single XLSX. The file will be downloaded to your computer, allowing you to open it in a spreadsheet editor for further analysis or editing. Creating a report for a thorough clinical report, personalize the sample info. Find the sample in the samples table. Click Manage Data of Examination for your chosen sample and fill in all necessary fields in the pop-up windows tabs. You can create a PDF report from the Sign Out Variants tab by using the orange file button and selecting the Make Report PDF file option. In case there are no variants to sign out, choose the Sign Out with No Variants option. The report displays detailed variant descriptions and can be personalized with your lab's logo and name in the header. Downloading data. You can download analysis result files from your projects table by clicking the Edit Project Upload Download Data button. These files are available in different tabs and include a variety of formats such as VSC, HTML, ZIP, BAM, and BI for both samples and kits. 
Empower your NGS data management with Genovesa, your comprehensive solution. BioVendor Group, bridging science and diagnostics.